Nas versus Jay Z. You know, that's going to Nas. We can we can talk about why, and and you know what's crazy again, man. Hove is for me right now, right now off every like judging every rapper off everything. Hove's number one, period. Around the board, he's been around since I don't know how long. The eighties, the eighties, yeah. And he's been doing his thing. I think that um, as far as um, the only person that that is like challenging that number one for me, like for me, um, is Wayne. I think it's Wayne, and I think it's Hove for me. At the In terms top. of longevity, longevity, and I also think that like I don't know, like Wayne, Wayne, like when I, I when I think Hove, I think Wayne. The only other person, you know, let's just think versus wise, right? The only other person that could compete with Wayne is like Hove. The only person that could compete with Hove is Wayne, as far as catalog longevity and just somebody where everybody gonna say, "Oh, I don't know who to pick." I don't know to pick Hove. I don't know to pick Wayne. You might get younger people that are going to say Wayne, but then veterans are going to say Hove. But I think it's just, I think it's both, they, they both go hand in hand. So um, let's not get it twisted on how I feel about Hove and his pen. But Ether, Ether, like the first time I heard, fuck Jay-Z, you been on my dick, you like, you 36 in a karate class? Like <laughs> that shit, you see how fucking excited I'm getting? Because that was at a time of my life Ether, like I was listening to Blueprint and I was listening to um, like, what was it? Blueprint Blueprint came out before Nas Drop Ether or was it uh, Valium? I forget what it I forget what what album it was, but I was listening to Hove a lot heavily. And I wasn't I was listening to Nas, Nas, of course, but I wasn't listening to Nas more than I was listening to Hove because I was when the Reasonable Doubt album came out. I was young. I was selling dope. I was in a spot. Um, you actually wrote your first album over Reasonable, Reasonable Doubt, Doubt with the yeah. Jay Z rapping. I just heard it. I heard it so many times. So many, so many times I was able to tune his voice out and just hear the beats. So like I was a super whole fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm still a fan of Jay Z. But like the, the when Nas dropped Ether, man, it it the way that that record came out, the impact that it had, no one can deny it. And Hove had Takeover, and he had dope shit. Those songs were fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? Even the one we talking about, you know, we got something in common. Get it? Something in common? Like, yeah. fucking hip-hop, royalty, gloves off. Like, I don't know, man. Like, Hove did his thing. But Ether, Ether, to this day, you put on Ether right now, that motherfucker come on, it just sounds like one of the best records ever made in all genres. Like, it's Ether. And I know that, not to cut you off, but I know that White people, white women, Indians, Asians, whoever the fuck you want to say, heard Ether and was just like, this is fucking amazing. It's not just a dope beef record. It is a classic hip hop record. So I got to give it to Nas. Well, yeah. Once again, it became a verb. If you got ethered, it, you know exactly what you're talking about. Right. Exactly. But but the thing is, just to, me being honest, I felt like song-wise beat flow i kind of like take over a little bit better me personally yeah I, me personally i, I thought take over was a tough i thought take over was dope too but you i kind of like take over better is not you're not telling me that it's better than ether you're right. just I mean, telling the me what you of like ether was bigger. you telling me you telling me you what record you like better but you know ether was better and made a bigger impact true. and won that beat for nas true so that's it. So we, we're not in, we're not far off with uh, you know how we feel about that.